Hey there, YouTube. Joe Guides one here with another episode of the Zombie Weapons Guide. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Make sure you try not to get too fucked up. And if you're drinking Guinness, make sure that you always look towards the horizon, not down. Because that's not how you're supposed to drink a Guinness, according to the creator of Guinness. But, um, anyways, today's weapon is the shower curtain rod. Watch this. This is gonna be so cool. It's like a fucking katana. Except it's, you know, metal and... Katanas are metal, but it's like a piece of crap. Um, let me see if I can put it back. I couldn't do it as cool as I thought I would be able to, but whatever. Um, so shower curtain rod are it's pretty much, it's pretty much if you know uh, the situation I can is uh, self-explanatory. You're in the bathroom dropping a big old dookie, and then all of a sudden. Zombies start clawing at the door. I would hope you shit with the bathroom door closed. Um, I have been known from time to time to leave it open if there's no zombies coming in. Then again, zombies don't exist. Maybe I'm just an asshole. But anyways, you know, you're sitting in the bathroom. Your zombies clawing at the door. What do you do? You look around. You see, I don't know, a couple weapons you can use. Uh, there's some toilet paper. That's not going to help you out too much. There's some... Like, Febreze spray, that's, I mean, maybe you could make a rudimentary flamethrower, but that's going to be a piece of shit either, either way. Um, if you're in a bathroom, the only two options you really have are the shower curtain rod, which is what we'll be using today, or the toilet seat lid, if you've ever seen Zombieland, um, I think his name, what's his name, Jesse Eisenberg or something like that, he uses that in that film. Um, we're going to be covering that next week as well. But anyways, we're doing the shower curtain rod today. Um, there's one huge problem with this, and that's... Boom. It comes out. It's extendable, obviously. So, what I like to do, and what I'm going to do in the video, is just take this out. And I think this part is a little heavier, because this part... This has, um... This little socket here, so I think it's a little heavier. But I'm going to use this part anyways. This part's light, so I'm just going to toss that to the side. I don't think that you should, I mean, you probably won't have time to, but I don't think that you should try and tape these together, because what's going to happen is the tape's just going to come undone, and then it's going to fly out, you know? You're going to be attacking a zombie, it's going to hit you in the balls. And yeah, you don't want that. Looks cool if you're trying to be like a samurai, though. Um, but no, so this is an okay weapon. It's actually pretty bad, I lied. It's not okay at all. But, um... You know, at least it gives you some distance. Pretty sure it wouldn't be able to penetrate the skull, but the good thing is this inside part right here is hollow. So, you know, you can put shit in the bathroom that you find in there, in here, to make it a little bit heavier. So, you know, whatever you have in there, maybe like little tiny shampoo bottles you get at a hotel, you can drop down in there. But whatever. Um, it's not that good. Once again, like all the weapons, I would just recommend using it to push them away. Um... If somehow you manage to escape and this is all you have, um, and you're somehow able to, like, file it against a rock into a spear of some sort, that can be okay, too. Definitely you want to find a better weapon, but, um, in a pinch, this is okay. Um, like I said, it's definitely better to use as, like, a lion tamer's chair than as an actual weapon, but, um, that's not really a good thing. It does have two pieces, so if one part breaks and you just pick the other one up, you're good. But that might not work so well if you're surrounded by a horde of zombies. But um, anyway, it's 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 all right. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, next week we'll be covering the toilet seat lid. We'll see how that shapes up against this. But um, yeah, hopefully it's all right. So anyways, uh, hold on. I gotta be I gotta be cool. Let's get some tests. Guys, I forgot to say this, but I'm gonna put a link to a song you guys should check out. It's a disc track for Nick Gorham. Uh, you guys may know him, but uh, anyways, it's pretty good. I would recommend listening to it. Link in the description. But uh, yeah, here we go. already bent. I'm going to see how much I can bend it. Check it 
as you can see, after a mere, what, four hits, it's already bent. So it's not a very good weapon. Um, I would not recommend using it now that I think about it. But, uh, yeah. Until next time, this is Joe Skies 1 saying don't fear the apocalypse. Welcome.